Hey kids, welcome to Unit 5, Lesson 5, Enhanced For Loops. We have a what do you think this program does? Let's take a look at our code. Over here, we're instantiating a bunch of new objects from the song class. Blinding, perfect, lovely, memories, photograph. It's of the song class, so I'm assuming these are song titles. It looks like our object takes two parameters. We'll call this a song title and then a number. Down here, we're creating an array of our objects we created here. So our my songs object from the song array class has blinding, perfect, lovely memories and photograph inside of it. Next, we're printing off original list. And I want you to notice right here, we have our old friend, the enhanced for loop. And you remember back from the last unit, an enhanced for loop just goes through the array without a control variable. We do a data type. In this case, it's our song class, a variable to store the item temporarily and the array name we're going through. This for loop, Looks like it's printing off the titles from above and that number, which looks like a rank. Next, we're gonna come down here and say, changing the ranks of each song. We have another enhanced for loop. This time as it goes through though, we're using the set rank method. And what we're doing is we're getting whatever the current rank is, adding one, and that's setting that rank of that item. After that, we're gonna print it off. And this should be our updated list with our updated rank for our title. Let's take a look at the song class. We have two private instance variables, the title and rank. The constructor that takes those two parameters, a get method for title, get method for rank. And to change the title, we have a set title method and a set rank method. What do I think this program's gonna do? I think we're going to print off this array, just like this, blinding, perfect, lovely memories photograph. And I think it's gonna have the rank next to each of them. So one, two, three, four, five. I think what's gonna happen is we're just gonna add one to this rank. So blinding lights is just gonna become two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if I'm right. We have our original list. So our enhanced for loop is just looping through. We're changing the rank and we're just adding one to that number. So we go two, three, four, five, six. Looks like the program's running the way we think. Key takeaway from this lesson is really a refresher in what enhanced for loops are, specifically a 1D enhanced for loop. Remember, we need a data type, a variable to temporarily store the items in the array we're looking through. And as we go through, our array passes along whatever the element is that goes into our temporary variable. Whatever gets done to it gets done, and then we move on to the next one. Our variable never gets stored here like a traditional for loop. And remember, with enhanced for loops, we have no control of how we loop through. We just go all or nothing. Hopefully this video helped you remember what enhanced for loops were. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye.